So I have a couple of notes to make. So these notes will help us understand the next example. So in the problem, if you see the terms gradient of a curve at x, y, so remember the general gradient of a curve at the point x, y implies dy over dx. So we've seen that concept in a differentiation video. So if you're unsure about this concept, I'll provide a link to that video in the description below. If in the question it says to work out the equation of the curve, generally it means calculate y as a function of x. To calculate y, you need to integrate dy over dx with respect to x. So the third point is, if you're given the maximum or minimum value of y, so that means that you've been given the y coordinate of the turning point, and you don't only need the y coordinate of the turning point in order to solve the problem, you also need the x coordinate. So in order to work out the x coordinate of the turning point, so remember the important property of turning points, for any turning point, the gradient of the tangent at that turning point equates to zero. So in general, dy over dx at the turning point is zero. So it's essential we need both the x and the y coordinates in order to work out the integration constant c for the problem concerned. So let's go to the next example. So in example two, the gradient of a curve at x, y on the curve is given by 2x minus 1. So this implies that dy over dx, dy over dx is the gradient of the curve at x, y, that is 2x minus 1, and the curve passes through the point 1, 1. So the point 1, 1 implies the x value is 1, the y value is 1 also. Find the equation of the curve, that implies to calculate y in terms of x. So let's go back to the paper and pen. So remember the gradient of a curve at x, y means dy over dx. dy over dx is the general gradient of the curve at the point x, y. So we've been given dy over dx as 2x minus 1, for example 2. And the point 1, 1, remember, means the x value is 1, the y value is 1 also. So to find the equation of the curve, so the equation of the curve means we need to calculate y. So to work out y, we need to integrate dy by dx with respect to x. So we have dy over dx, so let's replace. dy over dx is 2x minus 1. And let's integrate from here on. So when I integrate 2x, so when I add 1 to the power, 1 plus the 1 is 2, divide by the result 2, minus, when I integrate 1, it's 1x, don't forget to add c, since you have an indefinite integral. So I can cancel these two 2's up and down to give me y is equal to x squared minus x plus c. So this solution that we have is our general solution. So from this point we need to calculate the value of our constant c. This is where these values come in. So let's use these values. So when x is equal to 1, y is equal to 1. So let's put these values into the general solution. So y I replace by 1. That is equal to x squared which is 1 squared, minus x, which is minus 1, plus the c at the end. So if we simplify this, you should have that the c value is 1. So this is the value of the constant, c is 1. Let's finally replace c in the general solution by the constant value 1, giving us y is equal to x squared minus x, plus c being 1 and remember this solution that we have at the end is the particular solution. So this should be the solution to example 2. So I have another example so back to the screenshot so example 3. So 
the gradient of a curve at x, y on the curve is given by 2x minus 6. So remember the concept. So gradient of the curve at x, y means dy over dx. So dy over dx, remember, is the general gradient of the curve at the point x, y. So we have dy over dx. And the minimum value of y is 0. Minimum value of y means the y coordinate of the turning point is 0. That's been given to you in the problem. So to work out the x coordinate, remember the condition for any turning point, dy over dx is 0. So we'll be using that condition at some stage of the process. And the question is to find the equation of the curve. To work out the equation of the curve, we need to calculate y. To calculate y, we'll be integrating dy over dx. So back to the paper and pen. So we have dy by dx is given as 2x minus 6. We have the y coordinate of the minimum point, it's 0. So first of all, we need the x coordinate of this minimum point. So remember the condition for turning points, dy by dx is equal to 0. dy over dx has been given to us as 2x minus 6. So let's equate that to 0. So if I take the minus 6 to the opposite side, 2x is plus 6, which makes x 3. So 3 being the x coordinate of the minimum point. So the coordinates of the minimum point are x is equal to 3, y is equal to 0. We'll need these values to work out the value of the integration constant. So if we go back to the screenshot, the question is we need to find the equation of the curve, meaning we need to integrate dy over dx with respect to x. So back to the paper and pen. So now let's find the equation of the curve. So let's calculate y. So to work out y, let's integrate dy over dx with respect to x. So dy over dx has been given to us in the question. It's 2x minus 6. So let's integrate 2x minus 6. So when I integrate 2x, we should have 2x squared divided by 2. When we integrate minus 6, it's minus 6x plus the constant c. I can cancel these two 2's up and down to give us y is equal to x squared minus 6x plus c. So from this point, we need to work out c. So this is where these values come in. So when x is equal to 3, y is equal to 0. So let me substitute the values into the general solution. So y is 0, that is equal to x, which is 3, to the power of 2, minus the 6, x replaced by 3, plus the c at the end. And if I multiply the brackets, 0 on the left will be 3 squared, which is 9, 6 into 3, which is 18, plus the c. So if I continue here, I make the c value plus 9. So that should be the value of c. So finally, let me replace the c in the general solution by 9, giving us the particular solution or the equation of the curve as x squared minus 6x plus the c value, which we found to be 9. So this should be the equation of the curve for example number three. So I have another example. So back to the screenshot. So example number four. Example number four reads, the gradient of the curve at x, y on the curve, and that is given by minus eight x plus six. So gradient of the curve at x, y, remember, means dy over dx has been given to us, and it's been given to us as minus 8x plus 6. 
So the question goes on to say that the maximum value of y is minus 4. That implies the y coordinate of the turning point is minus 4. So to work out the x coordinate, remember, for any turning point, the gradient of the tangent at that point is 0. So we're going to use dy by dx is equal to 0 again to work out the x coordinate. And the question is to find the equation of the curve, meaning we need to calculate y. So back to the paper and pen. So we've been given dy over dx. We know the y coordinate of the maximum point. So let's work out the x coordinate. So four turning points, dy by dx is equal to zero. dy over dx has been given to us as minus 8x plus 6, so let's equate that to 0. If I move the 6 to the right hand side, minus 8x is equal to minus 6, so x will therefore be minus 6 over minus 8, which is the same as 3 quarters. So 3 quarters being the x coordinate of the turning point and the y coordinate being minus 4. So if we go back to the screenshot, the question for example 4 is to find the equation of the curve. So to calculate the equation of the curve y, we need to integrate dy over dx with respect to x. So back to the paper and pen. So to find the equation of the curve, so to calculate y, we need to integrate dy by dx with respect to x. So dy over dx has been given to us as minus 8x plus 6. So let's integrate that with respect to x. So when I integrate minus 8x, when I add 1 to the power, 1 plus a 1 is 2. So minus 8x to the power 2, divide by that result 2. When I integrate plus 6, it's plus 6x. Don't forget to add that constant of integration. Now I can cancel the 2 with the 8. 2 goes into 8 4 times, giving me y is equal to minus 4x squared plus 6x plus c. So from here on, we need to work out what c is. So let's use these values here. So when x is equal to 3 quarters, y is equal to minus 4. So when I replace the x and y values in our general solution, y is minus 4. That is equal to minus 4 into x, which is 3 quarters squared, plus the 6 into x, which is 3 quarters, plus the c at the end. So let's expand the brackets. So when I expand the brackets, minus 4 on the left hand side, and that is equal to 3 quarters squared is the same as 9 over 16. So 9 over 16 times minus 4 is minus 9 over 4. Plus, so 6 into 3 over 4 is 18 over 4, plus the C at the end. And if you rearrange from here on, you might find that the C value is 25 over 4. So it's 25 over 4, the value of our constant. So finally, let me replace the C in our general solution by 25 over 4 to give us the curve equation as y is equal to minus 4x squared plus 6x plus C being 25 over 4. So this should be the solution to example 4. So that completes that example and that sadly ends this video. So I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, a like is very much appreciated. Do plenty of practice related questions and I hope to see you again. Thank you.